Well, it is one of the most heavily secured events of the year. And these guys are trained to make sure the Super Bowl stays safe. There you go. See? Bomb sniffing dogs getting in a little pregame practice. They're trained to detect up to 19,000 known explosive compounds, something that a human could not even get close to doing. Inside the preparations for Super Bowl security. Next. Casey Stiegel live tonight at the site of Super Bowl 42, University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Casey. Hey, Trace, in just a few short weeks, the stadium back here is going to be packed with about 80,000 football fans for the Super Bowl. And, of course, those fans are going to be worried about who wins the big game, but law enforcement will be worried about keeping everyone here safe. As ground crews work to get the field ready for Super Bowl Sunday, local and federal law enforcement, along with their best friends, are preparing to keep fans safe. When it comes to public safety, we have to make sure that our dogs and our canine handlers have the best of the best when it comes to explosives detection canine program training. These police dogs are going through extensive training with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Their mission? To follow their nose. They're trained to detect up to 19,000 known explosive compounds, something that a human could not even get close to doing. Some of those compounds are hidden in these cans. To pass, the dogs must successfully alert on every single one. Of particular concern, liquid explosives like those used in the London underground bombings. If somebody comes up with a new explosive tomorrow, we can get some of that, train the dog on it, and we have that dog now is trained on that explosive odor. In the days and hours leading up to game day, these dogs will patrol the stadium and the grounds, sniffing for anything suspicious. Yeah. I've worked in the explosive field for 32 years now, investigating bombings, and I haven't seen anything that comes even close to what a dog can do. And those dogs are just one facet of unprecedented security for this year's big game. A lot of the other measures are being kept under wrap. They don't want the general public to know their secrets. Trace? Casey Stiegel live for us in Glendale, Arizona. Casey, thanks very much.